everyone. It's Derek from Classic Game Room. You know what, today's Friday. It's really nice out. Summer has finally arrived here in space. Took long enough. So I gotta tell you, I just don't see any video games happening today. Just not in the mood for it. Not in the mood to play something that is gonna make me just wanna tear my eyeballs out. When look at the beauty I have to behold around me. It's beautiful outside. Look at it, this is unbelievable. Hey, I know what we can do. Oh, uh, you know, people always ask, hey, I wonder what it's like at CGR Undertow. Well, you know what? Why don't I just give you guys a tour? I know some of you guys have asked about that. All right, let's go inside. This, this is getting ridiculous. Let me put my shoes back on. See, this is why my feet are always dirty, because I walk around barefoot. I'm like Steve Jobs, only exponentially less intelligent. So here we go. This is where I hang out. This is my inspiration pad here, here at Classic Game Room. I sit under this tree, her name's Lucy. Sometimes I make love to her. Don't call anyone about it because no one will believe you anyway. And then I walk like this into the door. Welcome to Classic Game Room. And here's what happens when you walk into Classic Game Room. Look at this. Oh, here's where Brandon works. Say hi, Brandon. Hi. Brandon, Brandon works in here. Brandon, do you wanna have, do you wanna party later? Yeah, I don't have very many friends here either. And then a stone's throw from where Brandon sits and wastes time all day is where the important people work. Look, it's the, the main offices of CGR Undertow. Look at this. The doctor is real in. That's a, that's a peanuts thing. I like peanuts. Lucy was a psychiatrist, but she didn't really do anything. She was just exploiting Charlie Brown of his money. And I like to think that's what I do here at CGR Undertow. By the way, you can buy our DVD in classicgameroom.com. You should go buy this because it really is pretty great. Anyway, the cool thing about our offices is the carpet has a weird pattern and if you stare at it too long you start to see things. But also, there's little pieces of CGR undertow history everywhere you look. Like our couch. This is this couch has been with us from day one. In fact, if you go back and watch some of the videos from like 2010, this couch is in a lot of them because we would just sit on it and we, we didn't really know what we were doing. I certainly didn't. I would just kind of babble. Which is still what I do now, only I'm more comfortable with it, and I feel like we've come to, we've gotten to know each other a lot better. Also, this is where uh, Clone Derek and I sit a lot. This is also where I do my psychiatry reviews, my therapy sessions. Usually, I have the camera like right here. Some of you guys hate those videos. You just don't get art. But above the couch, we have all of our Nintendo toys, which Mark uses as punching bags and throws them around and makes me sad, and he laughs about it because that's just the kind of guy he is. But this is where I keep all my Nintendo toys so that they're not in my bedroom like a loser. Now, of course, if you're a longtime viewer, you probably recognize some of this crap. I mean, I've reviewed pretty much everything on this shelf at some point on the channel. Case in point, these guys. These are the Mario Kart pullback racers, which is probably the most popular toy review we've ever done. People really like that one. If you've never seen it, you should go to the CGR Undertow's homepage and, and search for Mario Kart pullback toys and you'll find it. It's a really fun video. People like that one. See, people don't hate everything I do. Also, I reviewed Pikachu. That was fun too. Mark curb stomped him. So if you want to see Mark curb stomp a Pokemon, look for my Pikachu plush review. You can find all this on CGR Undertale. Hours and hours. Like, I think Brandon told me the other day, I've done like 5,000 videos. Then, if I climb up on the couch and we look up here on the top shelf, you see some other CGR Undertow memorabilia. Here's some lab goggles and a breathing mask. This is, um, well, if you've seen the CGR Undertow DVD, if you've seen the main movie, you know that this is, this is part of Clone Derek's diabolical scheme to kill me and to replace me. With what? I'm not gonna tell you, that's a spoiler. You have to check out the DVD, which is the most ridiculous thing I've ever done. Uh, here's, a, here's my Oswald the Lucky Rabbit ears. I wear these in, in, from time to time on the channel. I use those for inspiration. And then one of my most prized possessions, the, one of the coolest things anyone's ever sent to me. Check this out. It's me in the Looney Tunes rings. That's all, Toads. Gary sent this to us. He's a viewer. He's an undertoad. And only, only he sends me all kind of cool toys and stuff. And he's also a graphic designer, so he does all kind of cool designs like this for me. This is the greatest thing ever. Basically, my whole life, all I really ever wanted was to be a cartoon character. My parents told me, as well as my guidance counselor, that that wasn't possible. But <laughs> who's laughing now, Mom and Dad? Who's laughing now? But anyway, that's the couch area, toy shelf. We've got a Pac-Man poster. Here are the lights. I think over here there's some garbage. Oh yeah, here's some here's some CGR Undertow memorabilia. Look at this. X-Files garbage that I for some reason never threw away. I just threw it here. I actually need to actually need to clean that up. What's this? This is a shirt. 
I love Just Dance! Oh, this is amazing! One of my favorite videos I've ever done is my Just Dance review for the Xbox 360. Over here, this is our little mini fridge. It's on like Donkey Kong. This is where we keep some of our beverages and things that we use throughout the day. This is a giant cup of Taco Bell sauce. This entire cup's filled with sauce. It's because TJ, TJ lives on a steady diet of Taco Bell and Doritos. And so he, I don't, I guess he's just collecting that so that he can just like mainline it into his veins. I don't know. This is my bottle of water. Actually, we don't have a lot of food right now. But anyway, what do we have over here? Oh, I'll tell you what we have. We have a recording station. This is where we record a lot of our games. Check it out. What do we have hooked up today? Nintendo Wii U, Nintendo GameCube, two of Nintendo's least successful consoles, but this one is actually one of my favorite Nintendo consoles. The GameCube got me back into video games. I've actually said that a couple times on the channel, I think. During the 64 era, there weren't a lot of great games. I mean, the ones that there were were great, but there weren't a lot of them, so I kind of fell out of gaming. But this little boy, this little cubicle pal, he was he was my pal. He got me back into video games. I saw Metroid Prime and it was like, it's like game over. That's it. I'm back, baby. Also, it had a handle so I could take it to my friend's house and hold the handle. It's one of my favorite consoles of all time. What else do we have over here? Oh, here's our, here's our console shelf. You guys will like this. This is the shelf where we keep a lot of the consoles when they're not hooked up. You know, for, for when we need to record. Here's our Wii pile. Check out, there's all the hookups for the Wii. Here's a Game Genie, which I use frequently, and I am ashamed, I am shameless. I don't care. That's the thing you guys have probably noticed on the channel over the years. I'm not really very good at video games. I just like to talk about them, and I hope you guys like to listen to me talk about them. I have some strong opinions about the past. That's why this is a video game that only, this is a system that only plays past video games. This piece of crap's called the Retron, I don't know, Retron 3. This, this thing barely works. I can't give this less of an endorsement. Anyway, we also have the Sega Genesis, and right on top of it we have a Game Gear. Look, everything's just stacked up here. I'm sure people are going to be butthurt over that. And there's also a GameCube controller, some wires. I don't know why this is here, but <laughs> it's an HD DVD of Prestige! Der Meister, Der Magi, it's, I, I've, I have no idea what this movie is. And I don't even think it's an English version. This is like the German version. Is this even in English? No, it's not. I don't know why we have this here, but we do. And what I've learned around here that is that if there's something there, I kind of just leave it alone and don't question it. Also, when I come over to grab consoles, I like to look at Scarlett Johansson. Anyway, the other shelves have a lot of cables. These are boring things I don't want to bore you with. This is how we plug in the recording and we record things. You don't care about that. There's a PS2. Here's a really cool Nintendo 64 with Pikachu on it. You've probably seen that on the channel. I know Mark's recorded some stuff with it too. Xbox 360. This Super Nintendo died a long time ago. But here's a true story. I don't have the heart to throw it away. I can't part with the Super Nintendo. It's just not in me. It's not in me to do it. So it just sits here while I try to think of a way Maybe to one day save it. It's kind of like Walt Disney. I'm hoping one day we have the technology. We can rebuild him. But you know what? The top shelf is where the fun stuff is. I keep it up here so that no one else can reach it. This is where I keep my little Koopa Troopa, my big Koopa Troopa that I put Raphael's bandana on. You've probably seen me wear that in some videos. And then I've got, check this out. I've got two Turtles LCDs. Look at this. And, so, and look, you know what? I've reviewed both of these. And someone's sending me the third one. There's a Turtles 3 LCD from Konami. And one of you lovely viewers is sending that to the show. I'll reveal who when it gets here. Because I'm not going to give you credit until I get the proof in the pudding, baby. Proof in the sewer pudding because it's turtles. Also, this is where I keep my color forms. I've, I've mentioned before on the channel that I am starting a color forms revolution. I need warriors. Sign up in the comments. What we're going to try to do is replace everything on the internet with color forms. Also, this is cooking mama, gardening mama. Just Mama in general. You've probably seen her all kinds of times on the channel. She often possesses me. She is a demon, and she just peeks her head out. Look at this, like this. Imagine coming in here at night or early in the morning and forgetting that's there. What I used to do is I would hide that in different areas in, in the office, and so people would come in, like TJ or Brandon would come in, and they wouldn't expect Cooking Mama to be peeking out there, or peeking out there, and, she, and they would go, ah! They'd get scared because she's a demon. But anyway, that's the console shelf. Over here, this is where I do a lot of my recordings. I've also decorated it myself with some of gaming's all-time great icons, like Donkey Kong. Even though I hate Donkey Kong 64. Here's a true story. I actually got this poster in the strategy guide. This was a free, look at this. It was Prima Game, Brady Games. It was free in the strategy guide 
for Donkey Kong 64. I've kept it ever since. I don't know why. I really don't like that game. In fact, that's probably, speaking of CGR Undertow history, it's probably one of the most controversial videos I've ever done. People expected me to love Donkey Kong 64. I don't know. Anyway, let's let's move on to better games. We've got some we got a Mega Man montage because all great action heroes deserve a montage. Got some Metroid Prime action, a little Twilight Princess, some some Mario Galaxy, a little ode to Sonic. I don't really care about Sonic, but I put that up there just as a peace offering. I also reviewed Sonic Boom, which I think is the, my best video that I've ever done. I don't know, I can't say that. I think everything I do is great. How about it, Conquer? Conquer sits in our red lamp. This is just a red lamp. Conquer sits in it. But anyway, here's the Trinitron that I record most of my games on. Everyone loves this TV. Every time this TV shows up in the comments, there are always people saying, Wow, that TV is awesome. Oh, it is awesome. And it's ginormous. Look at this freaking thing. We tried to, when we moved to the new CGR offices, we tried to carry that. Holy crap. I, I lied and said that I was busy that day because I didn't, I like to avoid manual labor whenever possible. And of course that brings us to my desk, to my work area. Here we go, there's the movie, CGR Undertow, which really is cool. And thank you to everyone who checked it out and supported it on Kickstarter. It's still available at ClassicGameRoom.com, by the way. There's my laptop where I do all the magic. Um, here's my toy shelf. I've shown you guys this a couple times. There's really nothing new here. Although I finally put up some of Gary's toys that he got me. I got these toys recently, those are new. I've reviewed all of these on the channel, except that because I haven't reviewed that because that would just get that would just get weird. It would get it would get real weird. But listen, there it is. There's your tour. Well your tour of CGR Undertow. This is where I'll, this is where I get a lot of my work done and where I pretend to do a lot of the work. Um I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the tour. There's so much more I could show you. Maybe I will in a future video. Maybe we'll do a sequel. I can show you where Mark works, where he hides all his weapons. Speaking of weapons, check this out. I keep my sword next to Emma Watson. That way if anyone tries to besmirch her name or or dishonor her in any way, I have my sword right here. And it's a real sword, by the way, that I literally pull out and I am not afraid to kill people in the name of Emma Watson. Happy weekend, guys. We'll talk about more video games next week, I promise. I needed a break. I actually got a doctor's excuse. Derek doesn't have to go crazy today. Signed, Derek's mother. Thanks, Mom!